Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Assalamu alaikum everyone we are HS today we will simulate and learn about the application of operational ampli 5 that is comparator we have seen the basic operation of operational ampli 5 in previous videos so today we will stick to our new task that is our comparator circuit and its different forms the first thing is that how it is made and how it is different from the non-inverting and inverting amplifiers in the previous videos. The answer is that if you see here, you won't see any resistors, alright? Like the feedback resistor that was doing the work of control controlling output. It is not here. Alright, we want our output to get saturated and I will tell you why later on so what does the comparator do the comparator circuits accept the input of linear voltage and provide a digital output that indicates when one input is either less than or greater than the circuit all right this is the basic purpose of comparator now I will sum up the whole story of comparator just in two sentences that is all you need to memorize and for all its configuration this is all the maximum information you need as I have already told you the importance of it now listen carefully the two important sentences I will tell you now sentence number one the output of comparator goes to a high voltage level when the non-inverting positive input goes greater than the voltage at the inverting that is minus input all right sentence number two the output goes to a lower voltage level when the non-inverting voltage input goes that is plus input goes below the voltage at the inverting that is minus input all right now i am repeating them again the most two important points that is the output of comparator goes to a high voltage level when the non-inverting plus voltage input goes greater than the voltage at the inverting at the minus second is the output goes to a lower level voltage when the non-inverting voltage input voltage that is positive input goes below the voltage at the inverting input so let's see the different circuits this is the first one we have given here linear voltage at inverting input which automatically makes the non-inverting input the reference voltage which is ground or zero volt here it can be positive or negative voltage as we require or our wish all right this is sinusoidal signal can be given at non-inverting input which will make the inverting input the reference all right the maximum level that a comparator can achieve at positive side is this plus VCC or it can be maximum lower voltage it can be achieved that will be minus or negative VCC or it can be ground also moving on now see that sinusoidal signal is given on non-inverting and reference voltage is at negative or I guess it's positive that is non-inverting input now let's see their relation with respect to input and output just keep in mind the two sentences we will verify them in every circuit we don't have to memorize the other relations for each and every circuit all right this one non-inverting input is used for linear voltage and reference is zero voltage at inverting now we will verify our two sentences run piece wise 
you see the non inverting voltage is 5 volt all right here it is here it is green that is the input and red is the output you may verify it from here now verify the sentence number one we know that green is given at non inverting terminal that is plus and over inverting voltage is zero volts it's not indicated by any color but we know now sentence number one that when non inverting voltage is greater than the inverting voltage or reference voltage the output is higher sentence number two when the non inverting voltage is lower than the reference voltage that is zero volt that is the output is lower both of these sentences are verified now moving on this circuit can be verified by like this all that you see is the inverting input side as you see here is the DC source with the voltage divider configuration is given for the reference voltage and approximately it is 6 volt that is given at inverting side here you have applied the VTR by dividing R2 with R1 plus R2 and divide multiplying the whole fraction by 10 all right 10 divided by 10 plus 10 multiply by 12 that will be equal to 6 volts all right if we see its input and output relations the input voltage is plus 10 volt at the non inverting side and 6 volt at the inverting side as you are seeing now verify two sentences i have already told the screen is input that is uh, plus 10 volts if one block represents 5 volt that is approximately 6 volt now this is 6 here all right at the inverting side when non inverting is greater than 6 volt the output is high all right when the non inverting drops below 6 volt that is the inverting voltage gets greater the output is lower all right both of sentences are verified now now the second type first we remove the voltage markers from here now we see that our sinusoidal is given at inverting side and non inverting is grounded all right no need to worry about this just reuse the previous concepts it will be just opposite to that because how the sinusoidal voltage is given at non inverting side first we have to place our markers now one piece spice all right now you need to see is this non inverting is zero and inverting is sinusoidal five volt now verify sentence number one this is zero volt non inverting voltage when non inverting voltage is greater than the inverting this green is inverting now this green is greater than the output is higher and when the non inverting voltage is less than the inverting voltage green the output is lower both sentences are verified now moving on to the next circuits first we have to remove the markers and you need to see here that is 
same as the voltage divider configuration. Now for the inverting input side for the linear voltage to be applied. You can see that this positive VCC is used here for reference voltage. Alright, so you need another voltage reference. Alright. Now we will make them for our purpose. Now create new project. Name it HAM. Create a blank project. Alright. Oh. You never saw the input and the output relations of this circuit you need to see it all right this is the graph you see that the 10 voltage is given at the inverting and the non inverting is 6 volt verify your sentence number one all right 6 volt approximately here which is given at positive input all right so whenever plus input is higher that is this one let me show you on the graph now 6 volt is here and green is here whenever green is less than 6 volt all right the output is higher Alright, and whenever the green is greater than 6 volt, the output is lower. Both the sensors are verified. Now I will make them. This is our new project. Now create a new simulation profile. It will be HAM. H -A -M. Now we will pick our components. It's US741 eval. Here it is. Now we need our source. Sinusoidal voltage source. Place it here. Alright. Now our VDC. Alright, plus VCC here, minus VCC here. Now we will connect them. This source to this, like this, this to this, this to this one. Alright. Now we need a ground like here. Place it like here. You may rotate it by R as I have already told you. And one here. Alright. Give them values. That will be 9 volts you can give it 9 volts here all right we offer zero as you know we offset is always zero the amplitude it will be 5 volts frequency it will be 100 now place voltage markers this is the first this is the second and now run piece wise no 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 first we have to create our simulation profile 100 milliseconds and 100 microseconds all right now it's good run piece wise this is our graph 
you can verify the both sentences now we would want to change something we will change it like this we will place our resistors here like this here and one here like this for making it VTR now VDC like this let's connect them we need a ground all right like this place wire to this to this this is the voltage divider connection as i have already told you this is vtr again we need as a ground place it here now it's 12 volt all right now here it will be 6 volt v amplitude it will be now 10 volt to make it working all right vdc it will be again 12 it will be 0 just we need to change the value now again run p size if we see the graph from here here it is for 6 volt we can verify the two sentences now we will go back all right we have to move on to our third circuit these connections we have to remove it have to place it to this like this for our third circuit like this all right this wire we need a ground in zero like this this is our third circuit place the voltage markers here all right now run p spice as you see this is the graph this is for the third circuit you may verify it by that two sentences now our last circuit we have to convert it into vtr so we need two resistances one here and one here all right now ground place it here this is nothing but it is not difficult all you need is to know these those 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 two basic sentences which i have told you already that is the basis of this comparator this is the most important connection for this vtr now this it will become six volt here now run p spice and this will be like this this is the graph for the fourth and the final circuit Alright, that's all for today. Thank you for watching. Guys, don't forget to subscribe down below and also give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to comment down below. The dark.